The Tale of the Sheep Herder and the Wolf Once upon a time long ago, there lived a boy who worked as a sheep herder. Every day he was given an assignment by his employer to herd sheep on the edge of a dense and dark forest. Because he did it every day, the boy often felt bored. Initially, to get rid of boredom he always took his pet dog and brought his favorite flute. While watching the grass-fed sheep, he likes to play songs with the flute or play with his dog. One day, the shepherd boy imagined what would happen if a wolf appeared from the forest and ate the sheep he was herding. His own master had in fact once told him that if a wolf came to attack him, he had to shout as loud as he could for help. Because the villagers who are not far from the edge of the forest will definitely come to help him. However, during the few months he had been herding sheep, he had never once seen a wolf. Especially when you see a sheep being eaten by a wild animal. Suddenly, an evil thought popped into the boy's head. He thought it would be funny if he pretended to see a wolf and then called the villagers to come to his aid. Without waiting long and thinking further, he immediately opened his mouth wide and shouted, Wolf! Wolf! Help me! Sure enough, in an instant, many people came flocking with all kinds of weapons. They are willing to leave the work they are doing and are ready to do anything to get rid of the bad wolf. However, what the residents found was actually a boy who was sitting relaxed under a tree laughing out loud. He laughed not only because he felt he had succeeded in deceiving the villagers, but also because it was amused to see the villagers who were shocked and worried to hear that there were wolves on the edge of the forest. The residents who realized that they were being tricked by a small child then decided to disperse and return to their respective jobs. Some of them still look grumbling because they feel annoyed. I'm just testing. If a real wolf comes after the sheep, you will either help me drive him away or not, said the shepherd when he heard the residents grumbling. He really didn't feel guilty at all. Even though he knew that some of the villagers were annoyed with him, the boy still didn't give up. A few days later, he again repeated his intention to prank the residents. Towards evening, he once again screamed loudly and frantically, Wolves! Please! Again, the good-hearted villagers came with various weapons. Some residents even only brought a hoe used for gardening because they did not want to be late in providing assistance. However, just like before, once again the residents did not find the wolf attacking the sheep. They only found a boy who was again laughing out loud in satisfaction while holding his stomach. So you tricked us again, asked a farmer angrily. Though he immediately left his field when he heard a cry for help. If you ask for help again, we won't trust you anymore, said a resident. The residents then immediately left the shepherd alone. Some of them once again muttered in annoyance. Meanwhile, the young shepherd just laughed with satisfaction seeing the anger of the residents. One afternoon, when the sun was setting and the little shepherd was getting ready to go home, suddenly a real wolf appeared from the forest. The savage wolf looked very hungry and immediately grabbed a few sheep. This of course made the shepherd boy surprised, panicked, and frightened. He tried to save himself while shouting for help to the residents of a nearby village. Unfortunately, although this time the villagers heard the screams, no one was willing to come to him. The shepherd boy must think he can trick us again, said one resident who was very sure the screams were again just bullshit. In the end, the wolf managed to pounce on many of the sheep that were grazing until they were full. The shepherd boy was powerless to chase him away alone. He finally regretted what he had done earlier. He realized that many people did not come not because they did not want to help him, but because of his own actions which often lied to the residents. The message is, don't lie often, because if you tell the truth no one will believe you.